that you grab. The dress flows lightly as they spin and twirl. The straight lines, the beautiful fluid movements, these two make it look effortless. I could say Bella, Bella, or even say I like the music, the movement, the learning, the social interactions, the challenges. Sherman Waddell has been dancing for the past 12 years, and it's his passion for dancing that's kept the 63-year-old in pretty good shape. The exercise is great, but it's more than just exercise. You can go sit on an exercise bike, but I can't. That's boring. I like mine with a kiss. But on December 29, 2010, Waddell collapsed on the street. He was taken to the hospital where he got the news that he had type 2 diabetes. There was uh, real problems when I got to the emergency. The well, first thing was I was planning to go home and have a sleep. And uh, later on uh, the next day they told me if I'd gone home to have a nice sleep, I'd be not talking to you today. The doctors think he had it for about three to five years without symptoms, which is the case in some patients. Diabetes can lead to heart disease, kidney disease, erectile dysfunction, amputation and blindness. It's estimated that the cost of diabetes in Canada will be around $17 billion by 2020. And the number of people living with diabetes is growing. There are 9 million people in Canada who have diabetes or pre-diabetes. That's a quarter of our population. While people over the age of 40 are most at risk for type 2 diabetes, younger and younger people are getting it. We tend to eat more fast food, more processed food, more junk food. We're more sedentary, we're watching more TV, we're um, playing video games instead of getting out there and moving. While about 90% of diabetics have type 2, about 10% have type 1, which is an unpreventable autoimmune disease that usually hits children and youth. What happens with type 1 diabetes is the pancreas stops producing insulin completely. So someone on type 1 has to take insulin for the rest of their lives. Doctors don't know why people get it. It could be genetic and there is no cure for diabetes. The only way to manage diabetes is a healthy lifestyle. I think it's just making your health a priority. A lot of us don't think we have time to um, have healthy food to exercise. One of the big misconceptions about diabetes is that people associate it with eating too much sugar. It's, it is a disease that has something to do with sugar. It's too much sugar in your blood and your body's not able to use that sugar for energy for all the processes that your body has to do. Take your eggs in the morning. I like mine with a kiss. As for Sherman, he's changed his lifestyle and diet and lost 20 pounds. And he's taking his dancing beyond just exercise. He's getting ready for an upcoming competition, all while keeping his diabetes in check. In Saanich, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily. The world's all right as long as I get my hug.